Welcome to the mud box. I'm going to do this lesson like this. Whoa, ah, ah, it's very good. Choose the best answer. When you multiply a number by a fraction that is greater than one. So if you multiply greater than one, things get bigger. Where is that? It is number two. The product is greater than the number. Ah, ah, ah. That is number one. Number two. Jackery, what kind of name is this? I do not know, but Jackery made $223.20 for 12 hours of work. How much did he make in one hour of work? We're going to have to divide this by the 12. And that makes it a little hard because they've never really told you in everyday math how to divide by 12. So let's just keep doing it anyway. So let's think how many 12s. Let's do this. Let's ignore this. What are we supposed to do? I am trying to think. I think we, I think we ignore. You think? Yes. Let's make it this. And then at the end, we put it in. Okay, so how many 12s are we going to do this? Oh, my. How many 12s fit into 22? One of them does. So I put one followed by one, two, three. One, two, three. So I have 12,000. Perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Now, it is more difficult. How many 12s fit into 103? Oh, my, eight of them do. Eight times 12 is 96. So eight, two digits, so I put 800. Nine, eight times 12, 90. No, 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 no not there. No, 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 here, 96 with two zeros. This is pretty hard problem, I have to admit. They do this sometimes. I borrow from here, I put here, I borrow from here, I make them nine, borrow there, put them seven, boom, go away. Nine minus nine, no more. How many twelves into 72? Six, the zero, six D. It works perfectly. I add up and I get the zero, a six, an eight, and a this. I had took away two decimal points, so I'm going to put in two decimal point in there and i could always check but i know i'm right jackery 18 dollars 60 cents that was pretty hard okay but if you thought jackery was unusual name then we look at the next one caetano now i'm going to have to talk no no let's not do that caetano is cutting out rectangles for an art project each rectangle has side lengths that are seven eighths of the previous rectangle side lengths. Oy. The last rectangle that Catano cut was three fourths by two thirds. So we got. These are very weird. Caetano needs like something to do. Caetano is having coronavirus break himself. Okay. Three fourths by two thirds. Okay, let's call. This one, three-fourths, and this one is two-thirds. Okay. What will the lengths, side lengths of the next? Okay. Each has seven-eighths, so we have to find out what seven-eighths of the, each of these are. Uh, seven-eighths of. Did you hear the word of? Very important word. When you hear this word, of equals times. Say it with me now. Of means times. Of means... Yeah, okay, you got the IP sure. You can keep watching over over this video. Okay, so we do three-fourths times seven-eighths. Okay, we get 21, 32. So that's one of them. Very ugly fraction, but we keep it anyway. Two-thirds times seven-eighths. And we get 14, 24ths. If you want to get all special, you could reduce this and make it 7 twelfths just to be cool, but yeah, I don't really care if you do that. So that's the, That's what they're going to be. I'm going to check book, because that is the most bizarre answer, and it is right. 
with this by this. Someone thought that was good idea over at University of Chicago. I do not know. They have some issues. We've already covered that. We don't need to talk more about that. Let's do next one. Number four, a bakery sells pie slices that are one sixth of pie. That sounds pretty good deal. A lot of places they sell you one eighth, one eighth smaller than one sixth. If they made 18 pies, how many slices would they have? Let's make 18 pies. You're like, oh, please don't draw 18 things on the video and I have to watch you draw 18 things. That did not take that long. That is three, one, two, three, four, five, six, 18 things. There are six, right? We draw thirds and then we split them in half and now we have six. <laughs> If I'm going to do that for everyone, you're going to turn off video. I'm not going to do that, but I know it's six times 18. So everybody knows that 18 times six is 108, right? Yes, you can see down there, but it says 108. That is answer. For number five, explain how you solved problem number two. Well, you did division. Actually, it was a hard problem. Maybe you could say, I, I, I watched a video of man doing accent and doing it for me. You could write that. Or you could say that aliens, they kidnapped you last night. They took you to a far away distant galaxy and they did something to your brain and they allowed you to do problems as long as the person's name was Jackery. So you managed to do it. That is all I have to say at this time.